That looked right out of the Pac-3 playbook using the distraction. You mean successful wrestling? Successful tag team wrestling is right out of the Pac-3 playbook? I agree. Pac-3 former tag team champions as well. LJ Ramos, so street smart. Never met a fight he didn't like. Has uh, joined forces in championship wrestling from Arizona with their current Arizona State champion in Johnny Jeter. Yeah, Ramos, Aguila with the two, a pair of legals too. They are, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Shortcut takers? Whoa, big flip from Jervis. Whoa. Takes one to no one from you. Tag made and here we go. Woo. Here comes sweet Robin Shaw just trucking Ramos. Gets that body movement. Wow, one hand, easy slam. You know, in the philosophy of the Far East, it's thought that the center of someone's power comes from the midsection. That means that Whoa. Shaw is one heck of a powerful Whoa. dude. It's over. One, two, three. Whoa. Wow. I, wow. Here are your winners, Sweet Robin Shaw and Gentleman Jervis. Oh, and now a hug for good measure. So Simone Cherie started this third chapter of this matchup yeah. with a lot of momentum oh. and now just getting taken to task. And that's going to take a lot of the starch out of the tank of Cherie. Into the cover, almost a count of three. Yeah, after that... After that first gut wrench, it was a pretty slow kick out from Simone. Really took a lot out of her. Monroe didn't cinch up as much on that next one after the gut buster. Might have ended it already. But attacking the midsection, nice block there by Cherie. But again, that core has been attacked a lot. Maybe not as much mustard as she would normally have on those kicks. Look out here. There's that Ooh. momentum. This time she hits it. Inverted DDT. Center of the ring. Here we go. Going to take the series. <laughs> no, only two. And Ro, she, she dropped right on the back of her head. The second time Simone went for that, able to hit it. What is she going to do now, Todd? I don't know. And even I will admit, though, that Heather Monroe, always a move or two ahead of what you think she is attacking that core, maybe trying to soften up Cherie for the seven year Ooh. stretch. Oh, and that's not gonna do oh. Cherie any favors. Yeah, one, Straight jacket, backstab two, her into the cover. Wow, that was close, Dan. Wow. She's getting she's getting that midsection worked and then those that back that straight jacket backstabber. No way to protect yourself at all. Tough kick out. Thinking Michinoku Dude. driver trying to put the nail in the coffin, but well scouted there by Simone Shri. Oh man, she caught that right on the throat and jaw. Yeah. Monroe trying to capitalize. Again, right back to the midsection. And Cherie finds a way to kick out again. Wow. How does she have anything left at this point? I, I don't know how she's where she's digging from to keep kicking out of these moves Heather Monroe has been putting on her. Heather Monroe, Dan, loves to say to her competition, you can't wrestle here. Apparently, Simone Cherie didn't get the memo. Ooh, man, Biggie Small's up there now. He's getting chopped quite a few times. Keller Bay looking high risk here, and he's got to be careful. You don't want to make a pivotal mistake in this precarious position. Yeah, but you see how Cherie's been kicking out of everything Monroe's been doing? No. She's Cherie... Go, go. She's got it right where she wants her. She's perched. What's she going to do from the top here? Frog splash. Into the cover. Oh, my goodness. Here is your winner, Simone Sherry. Gravity has taken over, though, on the big man. He can't move. There it is. Stake through the heart. Into the cover, center of the ring. That's going to do it. No, sir. Not yet. Jeez. A lesser man is down for the three count, but R3 is not a lesser man. That extra girth, that extra size, I'll bet you that helps out when you got someone dropping an elbow on you. This rematch from Silver Spotlight living up to the billing. What a battle. Battle of who is more macho? Can he get up? Oh, he got smashed. Oh, he it. went for it again. He got absolutely pancaked. Put some syrup on it. 
unbelievable. That's the second time that R3's weight has just been splashed down on a prone Rosas. And if I take a look at, at the stat book, this matchup, Rosas putting on a hell of a fight. This match, at this point in its duration, about twice the length of their Silver Spotlight Tournament matchup. Back to the Dragon Sleeper now. Look out here into the Power Slam with authority, center of the ring. He gets it done. I'm Brandon Cutler, and you're watching Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.